Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Friday, March 5th. The state's Health Safety Committee announced yesterday that Baja California Sur will remain at alert level 3, yellow, until March 14. Victor George Flores, Secretary of Health for the state of Baja California Sur, said yesterday that while the number of cases and hospital occupancy continue to drop, the committee is acting with caution, especially since spring break and Easter visitors are in the area. Dr. Victor George Flores confirmed that beaches in Baja California Sur will be open from 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. with a maximum occupancy of 50% of the allowed capacity. He also mentioned that overnight camping will not be allowed at any beach. This restriction on camping will be in effect from March 27 until April 11. However, beaches will remain open as long as the state stays in the current alert level. The Secretary of Health pointed out that it is very important for everybody to continue to comply with the established protocols in order to continue the progress in the health alert system. After a few weeks' intermission caused by the higher alert level in the health alert system in Baja California Sur, the cultural initiative Viva La Plaza will start again in the historic center of Cabo San Lucas. The program restarted today, Friday, March 5th, at 6 p.m., and will run until 10 p.m. The initiative of the Los Cabos Business Association, formerly known as Friends of Cabo San Lucas, was born to offer a pedestrian-friendly space every Friday afternoon in the vicinity of the Amelia Wilkes Seña Civic Square. Since its original launch, this project has been well accepted by both the local community and the tourists visiting Los Cabos. In this first Friday, more than 30 exhibitors will participate following all the established preventive and sanitary measures required for the current level 3 of the health alert system. There will be artisans, galleries, jewelers, as well as presentation of Mexican and international food. The Viva La Plaza Forum also offers a space for live music and cultural expressions. While Viva La Plaza closes a couple of streets to turn them into pedestrian spaces, it provides motorists with alternate streets to circulate, and there are visitor-friendly options for parking. This initiative is supported by the 13 Los Cabos City Council and the Los Cabos Tourism Board. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening, and remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Vello.